Okay, so I'm going to use the green screen to make a clone of myself. So what I would do is I stand here in front of the green screen, I use my magic wand, I wave it, and then I look to my left as if there's something there, like I just saw a clone of myself, and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. And that's about it. My feet have not moved yet. So now I'm going to record another video. I'm standing right here. And I just step out to the side and look to my right like, what is happening? Why is there a second one of me here? And that's about it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop my original footage into iMovie and I'm going to start to trim the clips. I'm going to trim off the beginning where I'm walking into the scene and anything else that I don't really need. So I get rid of that beginning. I look for the spot where I step to the side and I'm going to split the clip in between so I'm going to hit Command B to split the clip. And I get rid of some of that portion where I'm just standing there doing nothing. And I'll trim off the end where I walk off the green screen as well. The next thing I want to do is clean up my green screen background. So I'm going to go to Backgrounds, and I'm going to put in just green. And I want to extend that so it, it is long enough for all my clips to be on top of. So about 40 seconds or so should do it. And I'm going to put the first clip on top. I'll put the second clip on top of that green backdrop. And I like to leave a little bit of space in between so it's easier for me to split these clips later. I can see where the split should happen. I select the top clip and I'm going to go up to the layers I'm going to use green screen, blue screen. That allows me to crop and I just drag those corners to crop the image and, and get rid of everything outside of my green screen. And then I can use the eraser tool to erase just those highlights that are on the green screen and that will make a much cleaner frame with a, a nice green background. Then I'm going to go to my other clip. I'm going to choose green screen, blue screen effect again. I'm going to crop it. And again, I'm going to use the eraser tool. After I crop it, I want to erase the highlights and get a more consistent flat shade of green. Now I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to export my file. I'm just going to call this one Clone 1. So I hit Next, change the name to Clone 1, save it, make sure I pay attention to where I saved it. Now that it is done exporting, I'm going to get rid of all of this in my timeline. I'm going to go to my Finder. I'm going to import that video again. I'm going to find where I want to split the clips and I'm going to hit command B on my keyboard to split the clips. So I'm going to split it right before I take a step to my left and then I'm going to get rid of that green space where there's nothing happening. I'm going to look for the spot where I wave my magic wand where that transformation should happen and I like to split the clip right about there so again, Command B will be my keyboard shortcut to split the clip. And I'm going to take the clip of me moving to the side. I'm going to drag it on top of my original. And I am going to use the green screen effect. So I take the green out of the top layer and now I can see both versions of myself simultaneously.
I might make a few adjustments just trimming off a little bit from each clip just to make sure it lines up the way I would like to and I trim off the end where there's really nothing happening because I don't want to disappear in the end of this so I'm going to just trim the bottom layer to where that stops and then I trim the top layer to match it should be good enough the next thing I think about are little effects like little things I can add to enhance the effect like if I go to transitions and I use a ripple transition right about at that spot where that magical effect happens that can add a little bit of interest. I'm going to change the duration of that effect to about half a second. So now when I wave the wand there's a little bit of a ripple as the second me appears. Another thing I might do is go to titles. A lot of people don't think of this but I can use titles for special effects. If I, if I use something like the boogie lights effect or the boogie lights title but I don't put any text in there then there will just be flashes of light which can enhance the effect of a magical transition like this so I put that boogie lights title in I select and just delete the text I hit the check to say I'm done with that and I usually have to shorten it a little bit I think by default it goes in for like four seconds. I don't want those lights again at the end, so I'm just going to shorten that so it just goes over the part where the transition's happening. And I think that goes nicely. Of course, with this tutorial, I'm focused mainly just on the visuals, but you can also enhance it with audio effects. I'm going to I'm going to share this. I'm going to export this as a file and I'm gonna call this one simply clone 2 and now that that's exported I'm going to go to my finder I'm gonna put in that clone 2 video I'm gonna put in a background The first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go to the cropping and take off the Ken Burns effect because I don't want my background moving while I'm not moving in the green screen so I'm gonna change that to crop to fill and the next thing I'm gonna do is change the duration I'm gonna make it about 40 seconds so that it is longer than my green screen footage I can trim off the excess later I put my green screen footage on top of that backdrop and then I'm going to trim off the excess so the two match. And the next thing I'm going to do is select my green screen footage, which is the top layer. Green screen footage always has to be the top layer. And I'm going to change cutaway to green screen, blue screen, so it takes the green out of that backdrop. I don't like the placement as much as I could, so I'm going to select my bottom layer. I'm going to go to the cropping tool and I'm just going to move that down so that I see a little bit more of the stage floor hit the check and I think that works a little bit better now here is the full clip of the effect including the backdrop I will now clone myself oh my gosh there are two of me just what the world needs more